city of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie and today for you I'm bringing you a box full of all of my secrets. Well, it's actually a container that holds all of my restock and refill items that you carry inside of your purse, your EDC. This could be good for men, for your backpack, whatever it is that you carry on a daily basis. All of the things that you need to replenish will be in this container. Now you don't have to use the same box that I use, but just the system itself, I think is gonna be really helpful to you guys. I'm really excited about this one. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. I am so glad to be back. I take one week off every month. If you guys are not signed up for my newsletter, definitely go down and do that so you guys can see what videos are coming. And when I take my break once a month, I always do that for myself. Self-love, of course. I am getting ready to show you guys what is inside this bad boy and basically how I organize everything. But first, I wanted to talk about the container. For me, the container is everything you need something that is going to hold everything in place you want it to be organized the way you like it and you have to figure out how you like to organize i'm a micro organizer unfortunately which means i like to pay close attention to detail everything has to be in its own bag if that is not you you could also do like a larger bag and do categories like all of my first aid in one pouch all of my you know different categories instead of like every little individual thing labeled. So you guys know. But if you're here, I'm sure you're my people. You probably like it like this too. So this is, oh, and by the way, please just ignore my hair. It is so humid where I'm at. I travel full time in my RV, if you don't know that, with a family of six. I kicked my kids out and had them go eat some pizza. So I'm here alone, able to film for you guys, but my hair is a mess, so. Anyways, this is a art bin container, okay? It is super sturdy, it is very thick. This is a thick bad boy. And I'm actually gonna get another one to build another kit because it really inspired me. I loved the organization inside of here. This is a little bit different. I feel like I used to get these back in the day, but what makes this one special is this one has a container that slides off the top like this. And then there's things on the bottom, okay? So when you open this up, you will see that there is different containers and you can actually customize these, these slide out. I'm probably gonna glue mine down now that I like my configuration just cause I don't want them to move, but I have everything organized in here and it fits perfectly. I mean, it is a tight squeeze. It probably like is a little bulging at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna hold up this first little section here. Now, as you can see the size of it, this is why it bulges because all of these things are a little bit taller, but they're soft. I have these little baggies. There's two different kinds here. I have these ones that have this little top and it actually expands at the bottom. And then I have these that don't. So I like using both of them for different purposes. Like I wanted this bag to expand a little bit because it's got a little bit more product. And then this bag, I wanted it to stay flat because the product is more flat on the inside, if that makes any sense. I have not labeled anything yet, so we're gonna label all of that together. But I have each row here. I also have this little container that I stuck in the front, which this just kind of corrals things and it just makes your container more uniform. And that's why I like the bags because I like my stuff in rows. Now there is a little bit of a system why I'm keeping things up here. Like I have extra bags. So all of my extra bags go in the back here. I have different sizes. I'm actually out of a size. This is the size, the big one obviously, and then the medium one. I used all of them to make this container. So I'm gonna order some of those. You can get them in sets like I have. I don't need these sizes anymore, so I'm not gonna buy the sets. I'm gonna buy the size that I actually need, but I, I just love these, you guys. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys everything in this top layer here. First of all, on this section, I have all of these little baggies. And in this one, I have extra little pill boxes. I have a pill container set that these came with. 
I love this book container, you guys. I know I always use the round one from the Dollar Tree. I've upgraded to an Amazon one. That's still a great budget system, but if you're looking for something a little bit more cute, I got you. It is coming up in a video very soon. I think it's in my day bag video, so stay tuned for that. But these are just extra little containers. I have earplugs. I like keeping these, you guys. As a mom, if you're in the car, you need to take a nap while your husband's driving or your kids are arguing or there's just so many reasons why you may need earplugs. You, you use your imagination, but I'm sure you could use earplugs. So I love keeping those on me. Feminine products, I just have uh, tampons and some pads. We have some Neutrogena wipes. I have the individual packets. And then in the back here, I just have all those extra little baggies that I just showed you guys. Next up in the front here, I just have extra tissue. If you're looking for some, they have some in the Target dollar spot. They're for the wedding things. They have like wedding things on them. But um, I just take them out anyways and put them in one of these little bags in my purse because it's just a little too thick. I have a smaller bag right now. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I just did a what's in my purse last video. I did a small purse and I know some of you are thinking, how did you do it? But I did it. So if you guys want to check how I did my minimal bag, check out that video. I'll link it in the eye above and down below for you. Next up, we have these little containers. These are little pumps. I put my lotion and different things in here. So if you guys need to pump anything out, any type of you know, cream or whatever. These are great little containers and they're super small and sleek to fit in a minimal bag if you're looking for a small bag. Next up, we have the spray bottles. These are great. They have a little lid on them. I put bug spray because sometimes I can't find the little bug spray that I like in this size. So this is a great thing to do. You can put sunscreen, sanitizer, all the stuff. So this is actually my second one of these because I've already used all of the other ones. Then I just have some individual painkillers and different things like that. And then here I have these little mini Tic Tacs. I just bought these, so I'm actually gonna be refilling my purse with these, which are so cute. Then on this section here in the front, I have just some Carmex. Then I have this one here. This is the one I was just practicing a label on, chapstick. I like putting things in these sleeves. They just don't roll around as much in the container. And then I got these, you guys, they're SPF by Carmex and they're really tiny. So check out Walmart for those. I was really happy to find those. Then I have these little first aid kits from the Dollar Tree. These are great. This has cotton swabs, tweezers, mini scissors, adhesive bandage, a safety pin and four more safety pins and a multifunctional knife. So these are really good if you're looking to have an affordable way to put stuff in your EDC or in your purse. These are awesome. So I just keep an extra one in here and then a few more little pill containers. You guys know I love containers. And then in here, I just have a few little extra tools. I have the refill to my retractable pen, which is in my last video. And then I just have, this is a little screwdriver and a little knife that I have in here if I need to refill my EDC. And then I have these gold ring key change, which I love these. These are so beautiful and sleek. They're not like your regular silver key rings. Then I have just an extra brush. I used the other one already in my day bag. So this was an extra one. And then this is a cute little kit. Like if I carry a bigger bag or if I feel like in my day bag, I want to like do the kids nails when I'm in the car or something, I will bring this with me. It's just a tiny little kit here. And I just like having it here. Just everything is in one spot. So I don't have to go searching all around the house for it. That's all that I have in this top section here. So now we're going to move to the inside. In this next section here, there's a lot. So I have some that only have one type of thing. We'll go through those first. And then I have this section here, I will get a close up for you guys. It has many different things, but they're very small and they're all inside of these tiny little bags here. This is where I refill all of my stuff. So in this back section here, we have Clorox wipes. I like bringing these. I was sick for three weeks. It was the worst. My whole family was sick and I'm just done with it. So I'm not into chemicals. I use eat organic and I try to buy clean ingredient products but there's just times when I'm at a table and I don't feel like they cleaned it good enough and I just want to sanitize it or somebody was coughing that was sitting before me I know that sounds a little extreme but I pull my little Clorox wipe out and I'm just wiping it down I just want to be I just I don't want to get sick okay I, I hated it it was horrible 
Anywho, then in the next section here, I have wet ones. These are antibacterial wipes. These are, these are the individual ones because in my little minimal bag, I could not fit a big pack of wipes because if I could, I would have. So this is the next best thing. I can fill all of these little individual wipes in there and the Clorox wipes. Then in this one, we have BW, which stands for booty wipe. That's a really weird word, but the packaging is super cute. I love how it's light pink. And this is just to freshen up if you're out somewhere or it's your dot, whatever you may need this for, or you just want to freshen up. Those are ready to go in individual packets. Then in this section, I just have bubble gum. I just buy a pack from Amazon and I stick it in here. This is one of my favorite flavors, Sweet Watermelon by Extra. And my gum always goes so fast, which is my kid's fault. All right, then starting from the back and working our way forward, I have Victoria's Secret hand sanitizer, which RIP because it's not in existence anymore. I'm so sad I even asked the lady. She's like, we don't make it. I'm like, oh, that's a crime because it's my favorite. So I'll put it in like a squeeze bottle if I want, if I don't like this shape, um, but I still have six left. That's all I have. Then I have these tiny little sewing kits. They're very flat. I put these in my EDC. I have two of those in there and I have just three bags of those, basically extra bags. Then in my day bag, I have a little bit of a bigger size. These are great. They just have everything strung, all the different sizes. And I have, that's a smaller one. And then you have the larger one here. So I have those inside of my day bag. I like having the bigger one for my day bag because it is very likely that somebody rips or tears something. And then I have this back section here. So we're going to start in the front on this side. Oh, and so I did this section was everything you can consume. And this section is everything that you cannot. So we have Q-tips. We have these fire starters. If you watch my EDCs or you watch other EDC videos, you will know why I have that in here. We have hair ties. I have little tiny super glues. Then we have some waterproof matches. Then we have band-aids. I have all the different sizes. I have butterfly band-aids. I have ones that go around your knuckles. Then we have some individual hand sanitizer, which I think is important to have. And then we have alcohol wipes, which I always have those as well. And then just extra large band-aids. So in this section here, floss, you guys know me and my floss. I always have to have floss. Then I have some stevia. I always have stevia packets on me and it's important i just learned this so i'm going to just share the tip with you guys to get organic stevia so once this is done i'm going to get organic but even though it says in the raw it could be sprayed with chemicals and pesticides so i know i have stuff in here that has chemicals and pesticides but when you know that stuff you just try to do your best and be as balanced as possible so i use clorox wipes i'm going to get organic stevia you know what i'm saying all right, next up we have these Listerine strips. I like having these in my purse. Then we have safety pins. Then I have some Alka-Seltzer packets, some individual ones, Electrolyte, which I actually need to refill this. We have some honey, which I like having extra honey packs. There's so many uses for this. Manuka honey is the best for you guys. It's so good. Look up what the uses are. Then I have some flavor packets. I like keeping these. I also have some vitamin C packets. Then I have some matcha to go. I love matcha, matcha is so good. I don't drink coffee. If you don't know that about me, I drink tea or matcha. And then this is my absolute favorite. I actually just showed this in my stories yesterday. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me over there because I do some things that you may not see here right away. So this is the greens blend. I always have this on me. I love it so much. And then just in this front section here, I have a bunch of these all different colors, little soap containers that have the soap sheets. I have one in my day bag and then I took the sheets out and I put them in my purse in one of those little envelopes so it lays a little bit flatter. And then I have some Tide to Go packs. I also have Tide pen. I love the Tide pen. So I'll probably stick some of those in here. And this is gonna be forever evolving and changing. I may add some stuff, take things away, make room for things that I would rather have in here, but that's the best part about it. So now I needed to refill my purse and I just came in here and it was so easy to find all the stuff that I needed. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I do that today. Okay, so this next segment, I'm gonna start labeling everything and have a little chit chat with you guys today. My topic is self healing and doing the inner work, okay? Which I think is so important, especially the day and age we're in we really need to focus on this for our self-love. And it is so hot in here, you guys. If I am glistening like a glazed donut, please just ignore all that, okay? My hair, I'm frizzy, it's, I'm a mess. 
So the main thing that I want to say is, which I feel like can be kind of controversial, possibly, is it is our responsibility to do the inner work and to take responsibility for our own healing. Now hear me out. I know that sounds like, well, wait, these people hurt me or this happened to me and why is that my responsibility if they didn't apologize or this or that or I want them to say this. I know, I totally get it. As someone who has suffered childhood trauma, I, I felt like that before. But I'm at a place now where I've recognized and expanded my healing journey to understand that it is my job, my responsibility to do the healing. And if I don't, no one else will. No one else is coming for me. No one else is going to hold my hand. And yeah, I have love and support from my kids and my husband, but nobody is going to help me heal but me. So I would love for you guys do the research, do, do whatever you can find a coach, a counselor. I'm a spiritual life coach. And this is what I like to do is to help people through their healing journey. That's one of the things that I specialize in. Now that I'm a healed person, I've just learned so many things about me. I am not perfect. I mess up every single day. And that is the beauty of healing. Because before I would get so mad, so disappointed in myself when I wasn't healed. I'd be like, why am I acting like this? Why am I reacting instead of responding? Because I didn't know how. So now that I'm more healed, I can say, oh, well, something's triggering me and I need to sit with myself, sit with the emotions and understand why. So that way I don't have to be mad or be disappointed in my behavior because my behavior is... A reflection of me not doing my work me having healing that I need to do still so now even though I throw fits I have my moments I I don't have it all together okay but what I do have together is me in the process of my healing journey and taking initiative to heal myself so I work on myself every day and I work I do shadow work that may sound scary to some people but I just want you to know shadows are not bad. Shadow is just something that you have experienced that is less than desirable. But if something like that has happened to you where you have suffered childhood trauma or whatever it is, I am at a healed place, which sounds really crazy even being able to articulate these words, where I love that part of myself. Even where somebody hurt me or wherever it is, I am so grateful to those moments because I wouldn't be the mom I am today without that experience. I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you and help others in the manner that I'm doing it to reach people without experiencing those things, if that makes sense. So now I can be this version of me that I'm supposed to be today with those shadows. So like for me now, I carry my shadows with me. I love them. I appreciate them. I don't look back and think about darkness. I look back and think about me walking with myself on this journey through all of those things that had happened to me. So I want you guys to really take the time to heal and to look and do inner work for yourself because inner work is so, so important. Now I am labeling all of my stuff with a brother label maker. This, this is old, it's dirty, and it's old faithful. It just does the job. I really hope, what I was hoping for this segment is, I hope this sparks a healing journey for someone that is suffering. I hope it sparks you to sit with your feelings and your emotions instead of reacting. I'm a very reactive person. I'm the first to admit that because of the things that I've gone through as a kid, but I don't get mad at myself anymore. I'm just like, okay, what is that? Where is that coming from? And I sit with myself. So now I'm at a different place of self-love. There is no anger towards myself. I love myself. I think I'm beautiful on the inside and out. There'd be no reason why I would lash out or anything like that. It, it, there's no explanation for it except for the things that I've gone through and the trauma that I've suffered and I need to work it out. But I'm really loving all my labels. And what's cool too is when you put labels, you guys, your family will be able to come in here and be like, go grab me sanitizing wipes and they'll be able to just, whoops, this one's crooked. No. Okay. <laughs> they'll be able to just read it and find where everything's at labels are not just for you they don't just look amazing and cute they also serve a purpose so 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys watching my video all the way through. It really benefits my channel. Today, I am bringing back the secret emoji. So if you made it here, you are my OG. I know who you are. I appreciate you guys so much. The secret emoji is a toothbrush. So leave me down a toothbrush at the bottom in the comments down below. Everything will be listed for you guys, all the product links, info. You guys know how I do it. There will be one link to a blog post that will take you to all of the links so thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time i'm always your girl Lorna marie bye